Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 10th, and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the Pacific Ocean. You can see what's left of Tropical Storm Hova out here. Shouldn't be a tropical storm for much longer. It will be depression soon, and it will continue off to the west as it loses its steep convection in the low-level flow. It'll become just some trade wind moisture that moves towards the Hawaiian Islands. But this did a pretty good job of bringing some moisture back up into California and some surfer southern and central California. The model's been picking this up pretty well in advance. I started talking about it about six days ago now in my videos. So I saw some banter on social media talking about this would not have any impacts across California, but it did bring quite a few lightning strikes across the region and it did bring that surf. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. The models did a pretty good job and you can see just a few more hours as a tropical storm then it'll drift off to the west as a depression. If you want to save 10% off, click on the link down below this highly recommended weather station. It scores all the data for you in the cloud, all solar powered and wireless, ultrasonic anemometer, very nice. So the high surf and dangerous rip currents continue on through Monday. National Weather Service Los Angeles here and talking about some of the thunderstorm activity across the higher terrain out there. You guys know the drill when thunder roars go indoors. You know, there there might be a little bit of a flooding threat here, but it's really not the main concern with the moisture moving up over the area. You get some isolated downdraft gusts here and maybe some fire starts. Nothing too crazy. Now looking at all the way to the Bay Area, they do have the beach hazard statements in effect with the swell from Hova moving up the coastline. And this is the strong thunderstorm is possible today. Again, across the Sierra Nevada out there. No severe expected as of right now, but watch out for that dangerous lightning. And check it out. Finally, Phoenix is going to get a little bit of a break here. One more day of excessive heat as the record summer and fall continues for Phoenix. And I know a lot of people say Phoenix has always been hot, and it used, but it, it's not been like this, you guys. This is the record was set back in 2020 of 53 days, and we just broke that record here in 2023 of 54 days. So yeah, this summer has been exceptional across portions of Arizona. And this is looking at the rain chances today, mainly across the higher terrain here. And this might be overdoing it a bit, but you can't rule out some scattered thunderstorm activity. So this is the map we've been looking at, the precipitable water anomaly. This is the GFS hot off the presses. And you can kind of see that last surge of moisture here kind of hanging over the southwest USA and the remnant moisture of Hova moving off to the west. And finally, that'll be the end of that here as we go on in through Tuesday evening and night. You can see that finally kicking off and the rest of that moisture kicking off to the west. And it'll eventually rejoin the westerlies here and probably come back to the mid-latitude cyclone, maybe affecting someplace on the west coast, but not having much of an impact with that aspect of it as well. Just kind of an interesting feature there. Now looking at lightning flash density potential, this is this morning's Huron. Did a pretty good job picking up that lightning activity. And it does show some of this activity continuing on as we go through Arizona, across Arizona on through this afternoon and evening, across Nevada, some of the Sierra Nevada through this afternoon and evening as well before that pushes off. And I don't know about this. We'll have to watch this one again tomorrow morning because it does show kind of another round coming over some of Southern California. It could even be some lightning strikes across the ocean area but here. But it looked kind of like like that moisture was being pinched off, at least according to the GFS and even on the satellite imagery. Didn't see much of that, but we'll watch that again tomorrow morning a little bit here. Any, if anything, it'll be similar to what we had the last couple of days. Now, looking at thunderstorm potential, you can see it does include the Sierra Nevada here, of course, as we talked about. And tomorrow, that threat pushing off to the east. You can see they really don't have that thunderstorm threat across Southern California that the HER was showing here as of this morning. And you can see the reduced swell now there with Tropical Storm Hova. It's starting to relax, but still that swell will moving up the coastline here on through Monday, as you saw in the National Weather Service video. This is 500 millibar heights, and you can kind of see the remnants the system as they push off to the west kind of some ridging here but nothing too crazy i mean no big signal right now except for the ridge building as we go through the end of the week up into the pacific northwest we still have got some of this troughing off the coastline here and over the southwest usa so we're not looking at any major heat wave coming up just yet but we'll watch for ridges as we get a little bit further out into the forecast here in the week plus time frame we could get some ridge development here upper level low still off the coastline there but we'll watch that over the next few days as well this is sacramento something near average maybe a little bit above as we go through the week towards the next weekend. And you can see the gradual decline in the average temperatures this time of year. By the time you get towards September 24th, you're about 87 degrees. And here's Las Vegas. You can see 95 back down towards the upper 80s as you get through September 24th. And nothing, you know, nothing sinister out there in the extended right now. No big heat wave forecast. Bakersfield, something similar there. Gradual decline in the temperatures. Ontario, California, something similar. San Jose, bouncing around average as well. 
Now looking at Palm Springs, you know, it's still pretty warm this time of year. You're still looking at like 103, 102 over the next few days, a little bit above average. As that temperature starts to get down below 100 degrees, once you start to get towards mid-September, average anyway speaking. This is Phoenix. You can see 100, another 110 degree day today before finally some relief as you get down towards average and maybe a little bit of bump as that ridge might start to build back in here again as we go through mid-September. We'll watch that closely over the next few days. But you can see 6 to 10 day temperature outlook. Uh, Pacific Northwest kind of bullseye there, kind of Arizona as you look through the extended. But again, not really a big heat wave showing up just yet, but that could change. We're going to be watching that ridge closely in the extended. Six to 10 day precipitation. You can see Arizona kind of below average there. Maybe some of the coastal regions of California. But we'll watch that there. Could, there could be an upper level law off the coastline there. That we'll watch closely over the next few days. And the forest fire activity you can see still some smoke across Northern California. It takes a while to put out these forest fires, but for the most part, the state not doing too bad. You guys know how bad the Sierra Nevada can be at this time of year. And this is this morning's her the 12Z run. And you can see that smoke bouncing around. And, you know, if you're in and around some of these fires, it can be pretty nasty. But for the most part, they're not traveling. The smoke is not traveling great distances across the state here in kind of southwest Oregon, northern California. Kind of been having that enhanced forest fire activity kind of in this area. It's been going on for a couple of months now for Southwest Oregon and at least for a month here for portions of Northern California. But anyway, yeah, interesting stuff watching this forecast unfold. Not a major shot of tropical moisture into the region, but it did get up in here and it did bring lightning strikes with it. And I saw it in a lot of my comments here. A lot of people saw the lightning, heard the thunder there over the last couple of days. So interesting stuff. This will continue to push off to the West and we'll watch to see what comes next. We'll watch out for any upper level troughs kind of hanging off the coastline see if the ridges are going to build and i'm going to do my el nino video it should be coming up tomorrow some new information is going to be released i'm going to talk about the entire west coast including some interesting signals for southern california central northern california the pacific northwest all the west coast we'll talk about the difference in the pattern across the globe la nina versus el nino we'll talk about what el nino is we'll go into a lot of stuff in detail should be a pretty fun video to do and that'll come out probably in the here in the next couple of days so hopefully you guys will watch that and of course, I'll do my daily briefings as always. So hopefully you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.